Today we are on a, a construction site that is in process. They want to know before they cover the ducts up with dirt whether they are tight or not so that we don't have to deal with callbacks later. This is the future of contracting in my opinion and the future of this testing is there is no compliance that we're trying to meet today. We're not past failing these tests. What we're doing today is verifying that we will not be back to this site for a callback or a lawsuit later. And that is what this thing is all about. Proof is possible. So what we've got here is the new RetroTech commercial duct tester. This thing is a prototype. There's actually only one of them, I think, in the entire world. This thing can blow up to 20 inches of water column. And again, we test residential systems at a tenth of an inch of water column. So uh, this here is the gauge that we're going to need to work with this, which is capable of handling 20 inches of water column because, of course, normal manometers only go up to 5 inches of water column before you will actually break the manometer. So you want to make sure not to do this at home unless you've got the right equipment. But um, we're going to go ahead and load in and get start getting set up. So as you can see, this whole setup is considerably more hardcore than the other duct testers from RetroTech. We've got all hardcore fittings. This flex duct is very, very thick. And essentially, this outlet right here is the pressurization, so you can see. It's basically a scientifically calibrated leaf blower. Super cool. Since we're testing these for their ability to block air leakage and water leakage, we want to make sure that it's very, very tight. So for that reason, I'm using the smallest flow ring that I possibly can fit on this fan. We're going to take it up to two inches of water column because that's the max that these ducts are designed to be able to withstand during normal operating conditions. So we're going to test that two and if there's any at all that's going to be bad. So we're going to make sure that we use just a very very tight orifice to be able to do this. So this is a very, very tight system is what we're finding out. I'm running at 0.3% of the total capacity speed of this testing fan, and I'm well above one inch of water column already. So I'm testing at two inches, so I'm gonna see if I can dial that in perfectly. So this is gonna to have to be close enough for business today. We're at 476 pascals, which is almost two inches of water column, and I cannot get a reading on my CFM. It was around six before it dropped off the charts uh, when it was estimating things. So this is a very, very tight system. I can't even get a reading. I would have to bump it up to higher than two pascals to be able to get a reading out of it, and I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna break the seals on this uh, sealant that we're using. So that's really good news for this client and for this deck system today. Thank <laughs> you.